From the skates to the sweater, everything about him seems typical for a 20-year-old member of the Sioux Falls Stampede. Everything, that is, except his name. How do you really say it? Uh, I say it, Yussi Olkinora. Yussi Olkinora is half a world away from his home in Helsinki, Finland, a place where hockey is king. He picked up a stick for the first time at age seven, but his career as a goaltender began almost by accident. We would show up to a game without a goalie, and you know, I was just kind of the guy who, who just uh, <laughs> who would step up if, if no one else wanted to do it. And I was kind of dumb, but I started to like it, and you know, that was my thing. From there, Ola Kanora developed his game and a dream with help from a wealth of talented Finnish netminders. That helps a lot to have those idols here and see that they've, they've made it here in the States and the NHL and be one of the best in the world. Determined to follow the path paved by his countrymen, Ola Kanora found his first stateside opportunity with a Utah-based midget team in 2007. And that experience left him hungrier than ever. I got in touch with some college coaches and I thought that that might be the thing for me. And uh, when I went back to Finland, I just could not stop thinking about playing college hockey. And, and Stampede head coach Kevin Hartzell, who'd heard about Ola Kenora from his coach in Utah, was happy to provide an avenue, even if the Stampede weren't in his initial plans. I was supposed to go to another USHL tryout. And uh, then I decided that I should just get <laughs> a warm-up tryout before the actual tryout. So, you know, my old coach got me in touch with Sioux Falls Stampede and uh, I got the opportunity to try out for this team and uh, I didn't even expect to make it. Uh, Just a great athlete. We knew his history. We did a lot of homework. So in our, our eyes, it was his first tryout and his main tryout and obviously he never got to the second tryout. But things started to sour at the start of the regular season as Ola Kenora struggled to meet expectations. I think the biggest thing was just that I expected so much out of myself. Uh, just, I thought that I was gonna, you know, be the best goalie in the league right away, and uh, I didn't really think that, you know, I need to adjust that much to this style of play. And it wasn't that big of a difference in the style of play either, but, you know, I just, I think I overthought a lot of things and uh, when you know one bad bounce came then you know it felt like the end of the world and I just felt the weight of the world <laughs> on my shoulders right then. And the pressure of uh, coming overseas as a 20 year old knowing that was his one shot, one shot and maybe not starting quite as good as he had hoped and I think he might tell you, I don't know what he told you, but it might have been the first time he's gone through an experience such as that where he really struggles. But with the confidence of his coach and his teammates, Ola Kenora has managed to get his season and his hopes of landing a scholarship back on track. You know, schools are starting to really see what he's been doing. He's been over 94% his last 10 games. Uh, the schools are starting to, starting to warm up to him. There's still some schools with opportunities for goalies out there and he's a smart kid. So. You know, his, his dream of being a, a, a U.S. collegiate athlete is, is going to come true. Maybe you gotta, you, you gotta uh, go, go low, <laughs> hit the rock bottom before you realize like, how good of a thing <laughs> the game is and like, how, how fun it is to win and play good. And just when everything's going for you, it's really fun.